वेलकम बैक गाइस सो नाउ लेट्स सी द थर्ड क्वेश्चन स्टॉक स्टॉक प्राइस फ्लक्चुएशन ऑफ वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट 262 सो लाइक व्हाट्स द क्वेश्चन इज फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस लाइक द क्वेश्चन इज वी आर गिवन अ स्ट्रीम ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक एंड ईच रिकॉर्ड हैज अ सर्टेन टाइम स्टेम एंड द कॉरेस्पोंडिंग प्राइस एट दैट टाइम ओके सो now like we are given a stream so we have to per perform certain operations like the operations are like we have to update the price of the stock at a particular time stamp and if it has already if the time stamp has already occurred previously then the current value will override it okay and we have what we and we have to find the latest price of the stock based on the current records we have to find the latest price like what's the current price of the uh stock at the latest time stamp okay and also we if asked like maximum one function would be maximum we have to one function would be provided in which we have to return we have to write the code and we have to return the maximum price of that stock based on the current records and similarly minimum price function would also be there as you can see in the like code like it would already be given if you have come it like if you open the question once like these all things won't be written like this function would have would be given update function would be given as told in the as told in the question above similarly these all functions would be provided to you so it's a, it's a, a simple like uh, not simple like it's an implementation based question basically so it depends like if you know stl then you can do it easily so yes so what i have done is i have created a map and i have created a multi set ss and also i have created a set s now let's see what i have done so initially when the function would be initialized like when the stream would start coming then at that time i have cleared the map and the sets that i have already created and then after in update operation i have to update the current time stamp and the price corresponding to that time stamp so what i have done is mp of time stamp is equals to price and also i have inserted the time stamps which have come until now i have stored all those time stamps which have already come until now into my s vector here you can see s dot insert time stamp and also the current prices also i am storing it into a multi set so that whenever i need to find the maximum element then i can directly access it access it and whenever i have to find the minimum element then also i can directly access it so this is how i have in inserted into ss the price the current prices and also the if condition let me explain that like what happens if the time stamp gets repeated then i will check whether time stamp already existed in the map or not if it already existed then what i have done is i have uh, erased that time stamp's previous value what would have been its previous value mp of time stamp and i have erased that value from where from the multi set because i was storing the current prices into the multi set so from there i have deleted the previous uh the previous price of the stock uh at the same time stamp because now the price would be updated so yeah, yeah again i have updated it these three are same as i told earlier these are the current set of current set of prices i can write a comment as well here oh um, current prices all time stamps i have written here okay so i i'm what i'm basically doing is each operation i am doing in log n time okay where n is the total like that the values in the time stamp like the values in mp and ss and s okay so that, that that you can think like that would be big of log n only so yeah when i have to return the current then what i am doing is like i am returning the uh, the current value s dot begin why s dot begin because it it would contain the uh, what is what does s contain s, s contains the time stamp and i am taking s dot begin which means the highest time stamp which means the latest which is the current okay why because i have sorted that set according to the decreasing order so that's why i am taking the first value and first value this is time stamp what i have to tell i have to tell the price at that time stamp and i will return mp of that because i am storing the price at that particular time stamp in that mp like map and similarly when maximum element is asked like maximum price and 
until now so what we can do is like current prices we have stored in ss so we can directly return the last value because it is sorted in uh, increasing order so i have returned the last value which would be the maximum price until now so i have returned that value similarly for minimum the first value i have returned from the multi set which contains the current set of prices so yeah this is how i, impl I implemented it so yeah, that's the solution so yeah, thank you very much guys